So there I was, thinking I was doing good deeds and paying blessings forward and helping the greater good. I didn't know, I didn't know that I was putting my life on the line and that this whole like final destination like thing was going to happen to me. Watch, watch this. Okay, so some minor changes to some plans around here. Y'all know about my little friends in the woods and how we put out a trap and all that, all that jazz. And how I said, maybe we should start feeding them so that they don't come up here to eat. So after looking a little bit further and, and having some time to like really process that, I realized that my friends are fat. They're eating good, but, but, it is miserable hot out, Millie would agree. And I think that I have a better plan, a much better plan. So y'all are incredible and have blessed us with several things to keep babies cool. Two of them were pools. And this one is pretty tiny, which is perfect. So I'm actually gonna put some water in the woods I have made it back to our spot and I was thinking a little bit how about how hard it's going to be to uh, carry five gallon buckets of water from this spot on up. So I brought the mini chainsaw because I want to clear this out and I see one spot over here. See this tree that's like right there. I think that's also in the way. So this project just got a little bit bigger than anticipated, but it's okay. It's okay. Don't you be quitting on me now. Actually, it's probably better that you stay here. If they smell you, they're not gonna wanna come play in the water. Okay, gates open. Okay, I cleared the entrance part, but I do see some spots up here. You know, normally the tractor could push these over, but with the water in it, I don't actually want the bucket to do any work except for carry the water, which is why this is important to me. I'm out here sweating my tail off cutting and I hear something that sounds like music, virtual music, of course, but listen. Who is this hero? It's gonna make me cry. Listening to all my crazy ideas and helping me out. Seriously, y'all, my hero. They sure can be pain in the asses sometimes. But every once in a while, I help you fulfill your little dream of the day. <sighs> and get sweaty with you. And follow all kinds of crazy ideas into the woods. Yep. I love him. washed away anything, any remnants as well. <laughs> the good news is it's very little. So I will go get my brick and I'll get this shuffled and situated. And I'm gonna twist the camera just enough to where we can watch out here and see what happens. Okay, I'm out of breath. Okay. This pool is tiny, y'all, so nobody's gonna be like, drowning in it but either way there's a brick in it just in case something tiny goes in and can't get out hopefully we see something really special tonight oh, I'm gonna go get a drink not from this pool and now and now now you're gonna see you're about to see what almost killed me so the first night that the water's out here we get a little bite by bite I mean Look at this cute little armadillo at sunrise coming in for a little drink and to see if his friends have left him anything delicious. So the next night, all of a sudden, all I can see is a tree on the camera. It doesn't make any sense because it wasn't there before. So I just assume that 
The camera's been spun around somehow. Some animal has messed with my camera. But by the next day, I realized I can actually see blue, my pool, through the tree. It still makes no sense. So I did what any girl would do. I called Lester. I asked him to go out to the woods. And it's unbelievable, but there lies a giant tree right where I was standing. He cleared it out and flipped the camera to the other side. And you can see that he let the bigs in the pasture, you know, for protection. They drank all my water. Yeah, another special treat that night. Dixie's out here having a drink, but she's not alone. Look at this. Yeah, right here, you can see. She had a special visitor with her. I'm totally freaked out. Oh, it gets worse. Later on that night, another limb falls right in front of the camera this time. I get the memo, loud and clear. Here's my spot, right? My beautiful little area that was all cleared and was a great path. And look, here's the tree where the camera originally sat on, right here. And do you see the giant, yes, I said giant limb that fell in front of the camera? <laughs> right there. I stood right where this limb was, putting that camera up. And you will never believe how far this fell from. Look. Do you see that? Do you see the massive, I don't know if you can see that, right there. Do you see the massive break? This is a giant 200 foot tree. And it fell with no wind, no storm. It just fell. Like hours after I set this up. That's right, hours. It's great, it's totally great, it's fine, right? Great, right? Totally perfect, um, except for, except for more, more things fall. Now this one is minor. This little dilly right here, this little baby limb. Okay, I can get behind that falling because it's not gonna kill me. But this one right here, this one tried to kill me, like a lot. And well, I'll be really honest, wasn't excited about that, like at all. So, after that one fell, and then this one fell, I decided that I should probably not come back out here, and it is just like a real final destination piece that I should just not, I should just not, I, I, I'm not meant to be here, this isn't meant to be here, and now I'm out here to gather up my things and get the heck out, because clearly, this side of the property is haunted, and I'm not wanted at all. I might be dumb about some things. But I do have common sense. And when someone tells you that you aren't welcome or wanted or gives you the move along sign, you do it. So I'll be moving right along. I'm good without ever returning. I've learned my lesson. Point taken. I'm out.